Iridescent plants defy belief. They are plants with leaves that shimmer electric blue. This is an optical effect of reflected light, not a pigment. So rather like peacock feathers or a DVD, the leaves of these extraordinary plants shimmer at different angles. This world's most spectacular plants film is a little different from all of the others because this is a personal story of mine. In 2004, I undertook a helicopter expedition. Apologies for the grainy footage, but I only had a very basic video camera with me at the time. This trip turned out to be one of the most exciting botanical expeditions of my life. Two friends and I chartered two helicopters and several planes to transport fuel. Our goal was to fly to the end of the world, to reach the Neblina Massif, which still today is among the most remote mountains in all of South America. The range had only ever been sighted for the first time in the 1950s and had only ever been visited a couple of times before. We were hoping to rediscover several species of carnivorous plants that had not been seen for many decades. The virtually unexplored summit of the mountain really was like stepping onto another world. We were successful and rediscovered the unique sundew, Drosera meristocaulis, the pitcher plant, Heliumphora parva, and several other species during the rest of the expedition. Whilst exploring, I came across this extraordinary plant, which left me completely speechless by its leaves that shimmered electric blue. I could hardly believe it was real. I took these photos and later identified it to be Stegolepis hitchcockii. Still to this day, as far as I know, these are the only photographs ever taken of this plant. I have been fascinated by iridescent plants ever since then, and have been fortunate to encounter several more species on other botanical expeditions, such as this smaller relative, Stegolepis lingulata, which has a similar blue sheen to its leaves and also in South America, this stunning fern called Elaphoglossum wadakii. This species grows in shady areas from underneath rocks, and it has one of the most brilliant blue shines of all. Across much of Southeast Asia, there grows Selaginella wadakii and several other related species that have iridescent blue leaves. These plants are often known as peacock ferns, for their colourful feathery leaves. And on Borneo, I saw this iridescent mapania. There are hundreds of other species of iridescent plants that grow across the globe, many with less brilliant shines though. Interestingly, many of these plants grow in shady conditions. And one theory explains the iridescence by the plants having iridoplasts, specialist structures within the cells that enhance the plant's ability to capture certain wavelengths of light, and so harness energy at low light levels where normal plants can't photosynthesize. It would seem this theory can't explain all iridescent plants, because some species, such as Stegolepis hitchcockii, grow in direct sunlight. Whatever the reason, these amazing plants can be grown at home. And even though their iridescence is rarely as spectacular in cultivation as it is in the wild, they're still fascinating plants to grow. One of the easiest iridescent leaf plants to grow at home is this guy here, Microsornum thailandicum from Thailand. This plant has really, really beautiful blue leaves. It's actually one of the most spectacular of all the iridescent leaf plants. And for this reason, it's often called the scarab fern. It is easy to grow at home, but it does need really high temperatures. It needs to be grown at between 25 and 35 degrees C, and it must have really high levels of humidity. So you can absolutely grow it in a greenhouse like this, or a terrarium at home. But one very important point is that it mustn't get direct sunlight shining on its leaves. If it does get too much sunlight, it won't develop that blue coloration. So it's best grown in really dense shade, often amongst other plants, in the shade of their leaves. And in those conditions, you'll get that stunning blue shine. Recently, 
several iridescent-leaved orchids have entered cultivation, such as this currently unnamed species of Bulbophyllum from New Guinea. And these similarly require warm temperatures and high levels of humidity. The peacock ferns are also quite widely grown, and these too enjoy warm conditions to develop their beautiful blue leaves. Perhaps as these iridescent plants are grown more widely, we'll start to unlock more of their secrets. Good luck and happy growing.